and I, we're doing this walk. We had a bottle of milk to go feed our lamb, Dopey, who we've renamed Cooper, as in Mini Cooper, because he's a mini lamb. We are walking along here, we came to this point, and we could see a lamb, or not a lamb, a sheep, lying down on the driveway. It was 10 o'clock at night, um, we hadn't been out for about four hours, and we thought she was dead. We went over to her, we still thought she was dead because she was lying there, she had her eyes closed. Paul actually picked her head up and we still thought she was dead because she didn't move. And then all of a sudden, she jumped out of her deep sleep and ran off. <laughs> but this morning when Paul came out to feed Cooper, we found her and her little lamb. This is Madame, and she's Madame because she looks like headmistress. And this is a little girl. The mama that was in here was Cozzy, and she had the lamb Osco. And that was the lamb that stopped feeding after we put a ring on his tail so we could dock his tail. But we've noticed after the last few days that he's been drinking off his mum again, so she's allowed him to suckle again. So we've been let them out into this paddock so we can keep an eye on them. Um, but they are doing really well. The lamb is doing really well. He's got lots of energy. He gets the friskies often. He's going to the toilet, which means that things are going in. So we're really happy that she stopped um, nudging him away from her and is allowing him to feed again. But it's lunchtime and it's time to feed little Cooper. We renamed him last night. I wanted to find a better name than Dopey since we were going to keep him as our pet. Um, I was trying to find a French name for small or little and none of them really worked. Um, and I was like, hey, how about Mini Cooper? So Cooper it is. And now I'm going to attempt to feed him by myself for the first time. I have fed the other lambs by myself when we had the um, three lambs born in one day, we had twins, one was a stillborn and the other one was rejected um, that later died because it had no colostrum when we bottle fed her. But little Cooper is going to be our pet, he's going to be our lawnmower for our backyard or our front yard, whatever it is. Um, and hopefully he can thrive on some of this formula. He's had colostrum and he's had mum's milk, so he should be fine taking formula now. Um, but I'm just going to go get him and then I'm going to bring him back and feed him. So he didn't want to drink the bottle. Barbara's having a drink. Can you hear her slurping away? <laughs> I'm going to try and hold the mama. I'm not sure if I can do that. Um, I've not done it before. But hopefully, she'll stand still for me. So you guys can all laugh at my fail if it fails. Hold her. Hold her. Yeah, like that. So he's had a little feed, he's done his shake, he usually shakes when he's had enough, so we'll leave that until next feed, uh, and hopefully he'll take the bottle for ball. <laughs> Today we're building, or starting to build the kids' cubby house for their Christmas presents.